Hi everybody, this is Jacob Castro and welcome to the first episode of Jacob's Aquarium. I just started a new tank. This is my 10 gallon tank. Just some, uh, you know, regular white rock on there. Nothing special about that. Got the two Grammys in there, two dwarf Grammys, cycling the tank for me. It's been about 24 hours since we first set up the system and uh, things seem to be going very well. The filter we got on this tank is actually much bigger than what's really, you know, intended for a tank like this, but it's still okay. We actually got a Whisper Power Filter 60 on there, meant for, as you can guess, a 60 gallon aquarium. But you can adjust the flow with a little knob at the top of the uh, inflow or intake tube, I guess you could call it, um, at the top so you can adjust the flow so that you can. Uh, put a lesser, you know, kind of current in there so it's not as strong for the fish. The heater we got in there also is also a bit big for the uh, tank. The reason why I, I have such large equipment <laughs> is because all this equipment was used on other tanks that I had in the past. But uh, everything still works the same, you just got to turn things down a little bit so that they're not as high. Uh, did the same thing with the heater, turn it down to about 75 degrees and it keeps the tank at around mm, about 77 around there so pretty good heater it works really well the light strip we got in there is made by marine land just purchased that at pet smart the other day for about 35 bucks pretty cheap and underneath that we just got the regular glass to uh, you know separate it from the water now i'm going to show you the things that i use to treat the water and uh, stuff before i actually set it up and this is stuff that's kind of vital for an aquarium when you're first starting out. So let me go ahead and show you. The first thing that we did was we added a, bio, a bacteria supplement, also called a biological additive, I guess. Uh, this is mainly to start the uh, nitrogen cycle in the tank. And what that is, is that's when you're first starting out, when you're first starting out with an aquarium, uh, spikes in ammonia and nitrates and nitrites and stuff like that are going to be immense and enormous and uh, you really want to try to uh, minimize your kind of fish loss. You, you still need fish in the tank to cycle it but you want to minimize the risk of them dying due to the spikes being so high. So what this will do is this will aid in you know cycling the tank and it'll also put some good bacteria in there in the uh, rock bed and stuff like that and it's a good uh, supplement for the water to get things going. And this is made by Top Fin. There's a, there's also other brands, but I just chose what the cheapest one was because I was kind of on a budget this time. Didn't want to spend that much on a 10 gallon, you know. <laughs> and after we we added that, we waited about 15 minutes because on the bottle it does say to wait about 15 minutes for the best results if you're gonna add some more things to it, which we did. We added this right here. A correct pH and correct pH by Tetra is actually a pretty good uh, little tablet here because you know many of us aquarium hobbyists are always worrying about keeping the proper you know pH levels in our tanks and it's just kind of a hassle to use those pH down and pH up chemicals and stuff like that so Tetra created a really you know easy tablet that it, it's one tablet treats 10 gallons so if you, we have a 10 gallon tank so as you can imagine this will last us a long time uh, but every time you do a water change you might want to use these so uh, it's just one tablet you just drop it in and it dissolves and it corrects your pH all the way to the neutral 7.0 which is pretty cool and you don't have to worry about using any chemicals to make it go up or down or anything like that. And I like that because I'm not really the kind of person that likes to go back and forth with adding chemicals to the tank and getting everything just right. I want it to be easy and fast. And a lot of people out there that have aquariums want it to be easy and fast as well. So it's not just me. <laughs> now the other thing we got was this, AquaSafe Plus. Now before when I used to buy this, AquaSafe was just AquaSafe. I don't know what the plus means now, but uh, I would guess that it has some more stuff in it, not really going to go into that, but basically what AquaSafe does is, is it makes tap water safe for fish. Not everybody wants to go out and buy a, you know, 30 gallon container of, you know, purified water from the store for like 15 bucks. It's better to just make the water yourself, kind of just like what saltwater aquari aquarium keepers do. They just, you know, they make it with synthetic salt. 
and uh, stuff like that. So what we do is we use the Aquasafe and it's uh, I think it's 5 ml treats about 10 gallons. So once again, this tiny bottle will last us a long time too. Now, when we do finally get the tank set up, we are going to be adding a Ranchu Goldfish, which that's going to be the only thing kept in this tank because that's what this tank is specifically for. I'm really a fan of goldfish and I love them a lot and I've always just wanted to get one and grow them up really big and then transfer them into a bigger tank as he gets older. So as you can imagine goldfish need a lot of you know good uh, aeration in their water so right here we got a, a whisper 40 power um, a whisper 40 air pump I mean I was gonna say power filter. <laughs> Uh, this is a really, really good uh, air pump, and it provides a lot of really good oxygen for the uh, tank. And as you can see, this doesn't look brand new, and that's because I use this on my other tanks as well. So, once again, old equipment, but it still works like a charm. So, i got to buy some airline tubing and an air stone later on, and we'll go ahead and put that in, and that'll work really well to help aerate the water and move things around for the fish. So um, we're going to let the tank cycle and uh, I will get back to you guys once uh, I'm ready to buy my Ranchu Goldfish and uh, I'll also post updates about my tank and stuff like that. So thank you everybody for watching and thank you for subscribing and I will see you guys next time.